home pool side. It just announced it's going to build a massive data center uh, complex with CoreWeave, which gets most of its GPUs from NVIDIA. NVIDIA is an investor in both CoreWeave and Poolside. And joining me now to discuss it, Iso Kant, co-CEO co of Poolside. Can you describe that? It, it, to me, it, it seems like too good to be true. Fracking uh, country to build a data center. It's like, do you even need a, I mean, it's right there, right? Absolutely, Joe. Uh, if you look at the, this, you know, the, the key layers that are, are growing in the world right now are energy compute and artificial intelligence. And at the bottom of that sits natural resources. And so West Texas is an incredible place uh, to be able to power energy generation by not straining the grid, but by doing it directly next to where you're building your data centers. Who's funding all this? And, and is it is it a done deal? Any any uh, question at all that the money's going to be there? So we have a space full of headlines and numbers, but you asked, you know, who's behind this? So Poolside, our company, is an artificial intelligence company on a mission to reach AGI. And we specifically focus all of our work on bringing intelligence into the enterprise. And so when we look at who's behind our company, it's a set of venture capitalist backers and uh, and financial institutions. Uh, there have been some uh, rumors around fundraising, but if you really think about what matters in this place right now is the fact that this project is is underway, it's it's ongoing, and uh, yeah, we'll be starting construction in the next 60 days. Right, so you've seen a lot of the announcements in the last, God, probably just the last yeah. six weeks, mind-boggling, and we've moved we may need to go past, what's after a trillion? I think it's a quadrillion. But a lot of the numbers that we're talking about, we're not using bees anymore. There are some T's. Is all the, are all these things feasible? Will the money be there? Because I don't think the money's even been printed yet for some of these projects that we're seeing. So I actually think you're spot on. I, I would go as far as saying is that we're, we're clearly seeing bubble behavior in this market. Uh, but I don't think it's across the entire market. What we're finding ourselves in is what I would refer to as a pre and post electricity moment for artificial intelligence. We are seeing that AI is gonna to touch all of the knowledge work that we do on a daily basis. It's sitting in our pockets. And so we have an insatiable demand for more of it. And in these moments, pre and post moments in history, bubbles get created, but also essential infrastructure gets created. Electricity, railroads, cloud compute, semiconductors. So I think what matters is how you are as a company in this time. To me, the key is about building responsibly, not speculatively, not headlines about promises of the future, but about things that are actually happening right now and are imminent. I, so should I try to buy up some land in uh, West Texas? Isn't that a good idea for everyone? What are they gonna use? If it's not natural gas, what, what will be the source? So we don't have a lot of time left. Give me about 30 seconds. So, look, America it has a shortage of energy for the data centers that it wants to build. And natural gas mixed with renewables is absolutely the way to go and, and to scale this. But it goes far beyond land. The bottleneck is not just the ability to get access to land and power. It's the ability to actually incrementally deliver data centers uh, and the intelligence that users at the end of the day will use in their businesses and in their pocket.